To politics now with just 10 weeks to go until Election Day and the debate on the campaign trail focused on the debates themselves. Former President Trump casting doubt on Monday about whether he'd attend the scheduled September 10th face-off with Kamala Harris over concerns about proposed rules changes. It comes as Trump has sharpened his attacks and up the face of his campaign following the Democrats' convention last week. Gary Haig has more. The Trump and Harris campaigns are sparring over next month's debate. With a 70-day sprint to Election Day, both candidates looking ahead to their first meeting, with Harris holding at least one mock debate, sources say. While Trump turned to social media to complain about the debate host network, and on Monday blasting a proposed rule change that would leave both candidates' microphones on throughout. That's compared to the Trump-Biden debate in June when microphones were muted unless it was their turn to speak. Will the former president still attend? We're thinking about it. They also want to change the rules. You know, the deal was we keep the same rules. Now all of a sudden they want to make a change in the rules because she can't answer questions. Trump later seeming to say the Harris proposed change wouldn't be a deal breaker. It doesn't matter to me. I'd rather have it probably un Trump campaigning in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania this week. Harris and her running mate Tim Walls holding a bus tour of Georgia that begins tomorrow. Thank you. Trump looking to get back on offense will target Harris on key issues this week, including immigration. With breaking news on that front overnight, a federal judge temporarily blocking a Biden administration program that allowed undocumented spouses of American citizens to stay in the U.S. while applying for green cards. The program, one of many immigration flashpoints, had been challenged by Republicans in 16 states. The Trump campaign sees immigration as a vulnerability for Harris, along with national security. Under Kamala Harris, American veterans are treated worse by far than illegal aliens. Illegal aliens are treated. You ever see them? They stay in hotels. We have veterans sleeping on the street. The former president using the three-year anniversary of the bombing of Abbey Gate in Afghanistan, which killed 13 service members, to highlight the Biden administration's chaotic withdrawal from the nation's longest war. Our country will never be safe again until we have fired those responsible for this disaster. Nobody fired. Worst, most embarrassing, in my opinion, the most embarrassing day in the history of our country.